What's up everybody, Landon with LMR.com. In this video, I'll be taking a closer look at Watson Racing's Rear Seat Delete Kit and how you go about installing one in your 2015 to 2018 Mustang. If you're unfamiliar with who Watson Racing is, well, they're responsible for the 2016 Cobra Jet program. In fact, they put together some insanely nice pieces for the S550 Mustangs. Now, one of their simpler creations is this Rear Seat Delete Kit. The factory rear seat assemblies in the S550 Mustangs tip the scale at approximately 37 and a half pounds. A common upgrade for race-minded Mustang enthusiasts is a rear seat delete. This Watson Racing Kit weighs in at a mere 12 pounds, which will knock roughly 26 pounds out of your 2015 to 2018 Mustang. This Watson Racing Kit is going to provide a very high-end factory look that complements the interior of your Mustang. Their kit is a three-piece design that incorporates a solid back panel and two lower individual panels. These are simply fastened to the car with a couple of bolts and push pins, which make for an easy installation. Now the carpet itself is going to be black in color, which will match the rest of the interior. And this kit is even NHRA legal. Watson Racing had this kit built to their specifications, which provides pre-cut provisions. These provisions are located on the upper and two lower panels, which can easily be modified to fit their four and six point roll cages. This is accomplished by simply locating the holes in the upper panel and the notches on the lower panels and then all you have to do is cut the fabric with the sharp utility blade to expose those provisions. Their kit will fit all 2015 to 2018 Fastback Mustangs so you drop top guys are unfortunately out of luck. For this install I am going to be removing anything and everything related to the rear seats. This will include the seat bottoms, seat backs, belt receptacles, belt assemblies, and all of its retaining hardware. Now to install this rear seat delete into your S550, I would personally begin with removing the front seats from the car. They're held in place with four T47 Torx bolts. You'll simply remove the four bolt covers with a small flathead screwdriver, remove the bolts, disconnect the electrical connection if it's equipped, and then you can yank the seat out of the car. The rear seat bottom is removed by simply pushing in at the center of each side to release the clips. Remove the two outer 15 millimeter seat back retaining nuts. Lower the seat backs and remove the middle 15 millimeter bolt. Now you can remove the seat backs from the car. Unscrew the two plastic retainers from the floor and position the small carpeted floor piece out of your way. Loosen and remove the T45 Torx bolts securing both child restraint brackets to the floor. Loosen and remove the two 13 millimeter bolts securing the seat belt receptacles to the floor. Reposition the small carpeted floor piece in plastic retainers. To remove the rear interior quarter panel, start by pulling out on the section located near the package tray. Work your way across the top of the panel near the quarter window and driver seat belt. Lift up on the lower door sill panel just enough to remove the lower section of the rear interior quarter panel. Bring the panel forward and then remove the rear seat belt trim piece. Now you can fully remove the interior quarter panel from the car. Gently pull the seat pillar trim panel away from the car. Remove the passenger side rear interior quarter panel and gently pull the seat pillar away from the car on that side as well. Remove both push pins securing the package tray. Pull the package tray towards you and then remove it from the car. To remove the seat belt assemblies, loosen and remove the three 13 millimeter retaining bolts. Carefully rotate the assembly out of the body of the car. Finally, remove the 13 millimeter bolt securing the seat belt assembly to the floor and it's free to come out. Repeat these steps for the other seat belt assembly. Remove the four T40 Torx bolts that secure the seat back strikers. Reposition the package tray back into place. Measure up from the bottom 2 and 1 8 inch. Then measure 7 8 inches from the outside of the oval opening and mark the area. Do this for both sides and then remove the panel. Center punch each mark and then drill each hole with a 5 16 drill bit. Vacuum or use compressed air to clean up any debris. Reposition the package tray back into the car and reinstall each C pillar trim panel. Reinstall each rear interior quarter panel and reposition the lower door sill panels. Use the provided bolts and washers to secure the provided lower panel pedestals to the floor. 
These will go where the rear seat belt assemblies were attached to the floor. No worries on getting these mixed up either. They'll only install one way. Carefully tighten the bolts with a 17 millimeter socket. Use two of the provided square carpet pieces to cover the exposed wiring harnesses near the bottom portion of the rear interior quarter panel. These simply slide into place. Position the middle support over the tunnel. The texture side will face up and the single hole will be closest to the floor carpet. The two large provided push pins will secure this middle support piece. The push pin with the electrical tape will go in the front most hole and the push pin with no tape will go in the rear most hole. Use a pair of needle nose pliers to remove the factory installed star washers. Doing this will prevent water from potentially making its way inside of the car. All of this hardware retain these child restraint brackets, seat belt receptacles, and seat belt assemblies. Before installing the lower panels, reinstall all of the bolts back into their respective areas. On the back of each lower rear seat delete panel, make note of the small notch. This notch will align with the small stud on the floor that is covered by the plastic retainer. Install each lower seat delete panel into the car. These will only go in one way. Use the four provided gloss black push pins to secure the lower panel to the middle support piece. On the upper seat delete panel, the side with the raised portion will face towards the trunk. Install the upper panel in place and use the two smaller push pins to secure it and the package tray to the car. Use a sharp utility blade to cut the corner of the rear seat belt trim piece. Be sure and position the belt out of the way. Once the cut has been made, slide the belt out of the trim piece. Do this for the other side and then reinstall each modified trim piece back into the car. If you removed your front seats in the beginning, go ahead and reinstall those. You want to double check your work and then you're all finished. All right, guys, before you judge a book by its cover and immediately assume that this one is for the birds, it's not. This watch and racing rear seat delete kit only took me about an hour from start to finish. Everything fits as advertised and the delete does blend well with the interior. Our 2018 Mustang GT shop cart will be getting one of their four point bolt and roll cages here pretty quick. And in typical LMR fashion, I'll be doing a step by step install on that as well. Wrapping things up here, guys, if you're looking for a high quality bolt-in rear seat delete with minimal modifications, then I would highly recommend this Watson Racing Kit to anyone considering a rear seat delete and one of their four or six point bolt-in roll cages in the future. To see more products from Watson Racing, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications. This rear seat delete kit from Watson Racing is currently available for your 2015 to 2018 Mustang from the real Mustang enthusiast, LMR.com.